Hi, it's Greg here with another Vim screencast. I'm going to continue talking about regular expressions and uh, as promised, I'm going to talk about case manipulation. And so these are some of the escape sequences that I'm going to demonstrate for you. And I think the best way to see what these can be used for is actually going to be a demo. So let's get straight into it. Um, so first of all, let's look at the default search behavior. I'm going to search for link targets here. And you'll notice that even though I did a lowercase search pattern, I found a mixed case word. And that is because by default, this is going to do a case insensitive search. And the reason it's going to do that is because I have ignore case turned on. I don't know if ignore case is default. It is default off. So that is something I've turned on. However, if I want to make something case sensitive, I can include some uppercase letters in the search term. So you see that I use capital L, capital T. And now it's only finding the one that has capital L and capital T because it is a case sensitive search. I mean, that is due to smart case, which is here in the help as well. That's a fantastic setting, uh, which basically gives you the, the ease and effortlessness of case insensitive search, except when you need it without much kind of activation energy on the, on the brain front. However, sometimes you actually do want to search for a word that is all lowercase and you don't want it to search case insensitively. Um, so I'm actually going to have to put a word like that in here. So I've added link targets or lowercase in the file and I've searched for link targets or lowercase. And if I only want to find link targets in lowercase, I'll be frustrated because it's actually going to all of them. Uh, the way to force it to be case sensitive is going to be to use backslash shift C. So you see when I prefaced the search with backslash shift C, now it's only finding the lowercase one because it's doing this case insensitive match. And the inverse would be true if I used lowercase c. So let's do that. With lowercase c, I force the search to be case insensitive, irrespective of the target, uh, of the case of the, the search text. So you see there, I wrote targets all in capitals and it's finding all of them irrespective of case because I'm using the lowercase c character. All right. Next, we're going to look at these replacement manipulation sequences. These are super useful because they allow you to take some text that you've matched in a search pattern and reuse it in the replacement, having manipulated the case of the pattern. That's kind of hard to understand, but it's easy to understand when I show you what it actually does. So I'm going to pick some words that are, have uppercase in them, like anchor and attribute on this line here. Let's just say that throughout the file, I want to change all of these to be lowercase. So I could search for anchor or attribute. And you'll see that I'm putting it inside angle brackets because I want them only to match at word boundaries. And anytime I find one of those, I want to make that first letter lowercase. So I'm going to use backslash L and then I'm going to just dump the original pattern in. And so we'll do that globally and I'll turn on confirmation so you can see each one getting changed. You see, as I go through those, the original word, the text of the match is preserved, but the case is changed. Now, I find that pretty useful. I'm going to undo those. But you might say that's a little contrived because uh, there's another way you could do that. You could also do something like I could search for the letter A and then that part of the word. And then I could just put a lowercase a and grab the rest of the match. So this will work too. So that's another way to do it. But that only works because those words share a common prefix. Um, so let me show you an example where it won't work. Um, just so I have foobar and baz, I guess baz will do. Um, so let's say that I want to uh, change pretty much like I did in the first example. All instances of the word foobar or baz in the file um, and lowercase them, the first letter that is, and then put the rest of the word there and we're going to see that that didn't work because I did something wrong. So we're looking for f the reason why it didn't work is because I was missing my very magic. So also I'm missing the S at the, uh, after the percent there talking and typing is hard. So that's going to replace the first letter with the lowercase version of itself. So that was a contrived example, but hopefully you can imagine scenarios in which that is super useful. Um, I've certainly appreciated it when I found it. So uh, this almost brings me to the end of this little series on regular expressions. There's one more thing that I want to walk you through, but I'm going to do that in the next screencast.